What's up everybody, Chris coming to you from Salty Island and today we're doing the first video in our Horus Heresy vlog. Um, this is not the first time, I know this is uh, Horus Heresy is the new and the shiny, but this is the second edition of Horus Heresy. We were there back at the beginning and wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the first army that I had built for Horus Heresy, which was the Alpha Legion. And here's a picture. This is this is a part of what I put together with the original Alpha Legion. Some of the models got repurposed. Some of them were 40k models that uh, I kind of used for the purpose of it. I'll talk a little bit about that also. Um, but uh, this is the actual Heresy Heresy, proper Heresy portion of the models that I had. Uh, there's the Betrayal of Kalth box as you can see. Um, and it's also got some Forge World in there as well. So I'll get a little closer up look. Uh, Forge World, most importantly, my Alpha Legion was led by Dynat, the named character for the Alpha Legion. This model was painted by Snickerneck Studios, must be like five, six years ago. Um, and it's not that it's bad, there's nothing wrong with this model, it looks nice. Um, obviously Snickerneck can do much better models these days, but back then, you know, this was, this was pretty much, uh, as great as it got and it was amazing I, I still love the model I still think it's a beautiful model the paint job is amazing and the character the character is just awesome Dianite is the Haro master he's like the amazing strategist of the Alpha Legion and he, he's he's pretty great um, he's on his fancy base you can kind of see that the base will kind of come apart now obviously since Space Marines are on larger bases you can you know you don't have to make them come apart they can just they can just have bigger bases. It's fine. Uh, but this is Dynat Forge World, for actual Forge World model that we got, along with Dynat on the HQ end. I also had a Praetor in Cataphracti armor. This is the Praetor from the Betrayal of Kelf box, but he's got some mods on it. He's got a power power axe and a Volkite pistol. And that loadout is specific because the Alpha Legion also has the Terminators. That is the, um, what are they called? Uh, Alpha Legion has a, a special Terminator unit. Uh, the names are completely forgetting me. I'm getting lost on it. Uh, but they, their thing is they, they also have power axes and Volkites as their loadout. And so I, I kitted the um, Predator the same way as well. Next to him is a bit of a conversion that I did. This. The Alpha Legion have a named character. He's not an HQ character, but he is a assassin slash sniper character. But the Terminators, okay, so here we go. Terminators are called Lernian Terminators, and the character is Exodus. Uh, Exodus has a, to quote, uh, rifle of unknown origin. So as you can see, I did a little bit of a conversion work there with a unknown uh, kind of a alien tech built into his uh, rifle there he has a like he's a conversion between um, some the kneeling legs from uh, your old mini space marines he's also got the torso from the other alpha legion squad the headhunter squad and the head and then he's got the backpack from the other predator you can see he's got the, the cape there and this was the these two were also painted by clint um, again Clint can do much better these days but back then you know I just I hadn't paint them I kind of just requested that they be done in a simple but visually striking look right so I just wanted it to look nice on table but also to match the rest of the army as well and that's that's what I got he, he did that for me um, speaking of the learning terminators here we go we got five learning terminators all with power axe with Volkites, one of them has a Chain Fist, and one of them has the Heavy Flamer. Um, back when the models were, these models came out for Betrayal of Cal, there was no models for the Learning Terminators. There is a model now. I really like the new models. I I wish I did have them, but with that said, uh, this this army is what I consider done, and I'm not going to buy new models and make a finished army unfinished. This is a finished army and it's going to stay that way. So there you go. These are my learning terminators. And as you can see for anyone else out there with the cataphracti, you can just pick up some, some bits and convert them into 
particularly special units. They're they're pretty close. They lack some of the fancier details, but it's okay. Um, they they will do the trick and people will figure it out. Um, they are Forge World bits, so I did have to go out and get those Forge World axes and those Forge World Volkites. And yeah, that's five five with man of this. I have the Contempt Dreadnought. This is not the Alpha Legion Dreadnought. Again, they came out with it after I had built this army, and the Alpha Legion Dreadnought is probably my favorite Contempt of Dreadnought. It is a really nice model. That one, again, I really thought long and hard about buying it and basically remaking this army, but again, I don't, I don't want to make a finished army unfinished. If you're going to do that, just build a new army, which we'll get to that in a second. But uh, this is the Plastic Contemptor. Um, I ordered the Forge World uh, Cyclone Missile Launcher on top of it, and I just basically got two Plastic Contemptor kits. We had uh, another one because we had multiple of the boxes. I took the carries kit from a different kit, and I now have two carries on my Contemptor Dreadnought. That's, that's how she rolls. Carries was, was way good. There's better things now. Carries is not bad now, though. But, but I went with the double carries. And then lastly, this is this is the fancy unit here. This are the headhunters. I got ten. Um, and those of you who know Forge World prices know that you buy them in five. And there aren't five of them aren't cheap, and ten of them are really not cheap. But they're really nice. So I got ten of the headhunter models. They the headhunter models have a unique torso head. And gun. Uh, the headhunters are kind of like the what becomes the stern guard in the future. But the, the oh, and they have one shoulder pad that you can see there has the Alpha Legion symbol on it. It's not the A from the um, before the Heresy. Uh, it is the Hydra, the, the three-headed Hydra. So you know, a little sus there. But uh, this is this is the actual unit here. And again, painted by Snickerneck. Um, in fact, yeah, I think everything uh, on this portion of it was painted by Snickerneck. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Snickerneck, for painting these uh, models for me. Really appreciate it. And again, here's the full army. Um, I did paint the regular Mark IV Marines. I mean, they're pretty straightforward, right? Just hit them with the color, trimmed it, hit them with a base, and that's kind of about it. And the army looks good. Um, there, there's different ways to paint the Alpha Legion now. Uh, like I said, there's the metallic option. But I went with a brighter, kind of a flatter look to the army. Um, that was that was kind of just a design choice. I just uh, Something about this color really spoke to me when I was painting this. This isn't the first Alpha Legion I had to. I also had a previous a 40k Alpha Legion army in that really dark blue. And I think I, I really like this color because it was a contrast to that back then. So... As you can see, uh, there is some Mark IVs in there. There's some Mark IVs with Melta gun. I also had a, um, a five-man squad of all Melta. Um, I did have some. Uh, it was I didn't get the Forge World uh, old Heresy era rhinos. Thank goodness. In the second edition, there are plastic versions of the Heresy era rhinos. So obviously, I'm gonna get those. But uh, in, in this one, I just used the regular rhinos so they're not in the picture because they're they're not true 40k uh 30k i mean i'm sorry they're not true 30k they're they are 40k rhinos and those of you who watch this channel have probably actually recognized that this army was in a previous battle report posing as a fourth edition nope sorry for the fourth a 40k army and they are posing as a 40k army uh they played against uh, an imperial guard and yeah, they were they were all the Forge World models that were in that battle report. So this is this is what I had together. Uh, we played about two thousand points. For those of you wondering how I got to two thousand points, um, and if this was a legal army, there was a right of war that allowed you to take just one troop choice. Um, now the Alpha Legion have a right of war that allows the Headhunter Squad to be a troop choice. So technically, this army is still legal. Uh, added in the rhinos, and I do also have Alpharius. Alpharius is not in the picture and not painted, but I have Alpharius. Um, Snickerneck has it. From what I understand, they've stripped and restarted painting that model like 
three or four times now. <laughs> it's been about, well, three, three or four years since I got uh, Alpharius. Um, I'm not really in a rush, you know. The longer I wait, the better Yeji's skills become at painting, and one day I'll have an amazing model. But until then, this is this is this is the first edition of Horus Heresy. What I played Alpha Legion. It was super fun, very troop heavy. That was kind of the meta back then. Is big big troop blobs, and likewise, I took a list that also very countered a, a very troop heavy meta. But I think in this second edition, I think there's there's going to be a little bit more armor, a lot more armor, a lot more emphasis on mixed uh, units so I think we're gonna build something a little bit different you know this army was is complete it's on display at the salty HQ but uh, stay tuned as we will be getting into my plans for second edition Horus Heresy and even salty shy's plans who he has some plans for second edition Horus Heresy and he has plans to buy things we'll see how well it gets painted um, comment down below if you think salty shy will actually get a painted army of Horus Heresy on the table in 2022 and maybe we'll revisit this video in 2023 and have a good laugh about whether or not Salty Shy has in the last six months painted even a playable faction of his plans for Horus Heresy. I assure you though he's going to be buying a lot of Horus Heresy as he's got uh, quite a bit of love which maybe we'll speak to that in a video also. We'll see. But anyway, I really appreciate all of you guys. Please stick around. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you want to go ahead and follow our path through 2nd edition Horus Heresy. Uh, we're going to be choosing a legion. We're going to be putting together some models, painting some models, playing some games, talking with other people in the community about their love of, of the heresy and why they chose their legion. And um, We'll see how this goes. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. So... Thank you very much everybody and hope that you keep hopping. Peace out.